Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my second update from my Finish 6 by Solstice Project Pan. So this project pan is actually in collaboration with Angela, so I'll have her Instagram linked down below as well. She doesn't have a channel, but she's posting all of her updates on Instagram. And if you missed the intro or the first update from this, I'll throw that up in the cards if you would like to catch up. A quick note, I did change and fiddle with the settings on my camera, so I am hoping it is a little bit more high def. A little bit different, a little bit crisper, so we'll see how this video goes. Let me know if you see any difference in the quality in the comments. Before we jump into my update, and I finished quite a few of my products, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this project pan, and if you haven't and you'd like to, I really hope you would consider subscribing and hitting that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So out of my six plus a bonus products, I've finished four. So let's go ahead and jump into those first. The first one that I finished that I'm so excited is my Soft Ogre Paint Pot from MAC. And this is completely empty and scraped out. I am going to like actually go in with a makeup wipe and clean it up before I back to MAC it. Because I do have a couple of empty Fix Plus bottles and I have another paint pot. So I think now I have enough to back to MAC this. I've realized that the MAC paint pots really are my favorite eye primer. I really do enjoy how full coverage they are, how easy they are to apply, and I know they're a little bit pricey up front, but panning two of them has made me realize that they last forever and that they're worth that price. So when I go to back to MAC this, I think I'm probably just going to pick up another one. I'm actually torn between Painterly and Soft Ochre, though I do think Soft Ochre fits my skin tone a little bit better now that we're in kind of our winter months and I'm a little bit lighter, whereas Painterly is a little bit better in the summer. The next product that I finished is the face powder that I had in here. This is the loose powder from Natasha Denona. Totally gone. I did try scraping out what was left just right there, but that's not enough for even like half an application. So that's just like a little bit of a crust left in there. And this is the Invisible HD Face Powder in number 01 Light Medium. I loved this face powder. And I think the pack the packaging was so nice too because I'm using a face powder or not a face powder but like an under eye powder right now that is just so messy because it's got like the sifter and a cap and it's just not put together well there are some powders that have really good packaging and they can do that but then the one that I'm using right now it's actually from cover effects it's so messy and I hate it I hate getting powder everywhere every morning that I use it but I'm trying to finish it up this one I had no issues with I loved the powder it made my under eyes look amazing I don't think I'm ever going to pick this up again because it is fairly pricey for a loose powder and I do have a lot of less expensive ones that I really do enjoy but I'm glad that I was able to experience this get full use out of it, and pan it. The next product that I totally finished was my concealer from Kylie Cosmetics, and this was the concealer in the shade Bone. So as you can see right here, I did scrape out the entire bottle. I had to take out the stopper in the applicator portion right there, but it actually wasn't too hard to get in there and actually scrape out all of the product, which I really appreciate in a concealer like this because if I do like something this much I want to be able to get in there and get every last drop because there are a few products with packaging that I can't take the stopper out or I can't actually get in there to scrape but I could with this really enjoyed this concealer I currently I have two more Kylie concealers because I got three shades and I'm currently using my second lightest shade I think it is and I still love it so Definitely glad that I got my use out of this and I'm using up my other ones as well. Alright, and the last product that I actually totally finished up was the face powder. And this is the Sexy Mama Translucent Powder from The Balm. Totally gone. Clean pan, huh? I love it. Holy Grail face powder. I currently have two on backup. If anything, after this project is done, I will pop this out and bring in a new one. I do love that face powder. I love buying it when the balm does their 50% off sales. I do have a video about my favorite balm products. If you guys do want to check that out, I'll throw it up in the cards above. So let's jump into my last three products. And since one is right here in the Z palette, we'll go into this one first. Get a little bit on my hand right there. This is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. Now, I don't know if it's going to come up on camera as well, but there used to be a big kind of lump right here in the middle of the product. And I've worn that down. So I don't think I'm going to finish this by the deadline, which is December 21st, but I am going to probably hit pan on it again, 
but that's going to be my goal is to probably just hit pan in the center of the product again by the deadline. The next product that I'm still using up is from Dior. This is the Dior Air Flash Foundation. Now, someone commented on my last update with a brilliant idea that I should have done from the beginning. It's if you can't measure physically where you are with your progress, you could weigh it like on every update and check the difference in the weight. I didn't know if I could do that halfway through a project, but if I ever do a project again where I can't see the product, definitely gonna pick up a kitchen scale and do that because that was a brilliant idea. Thank you for that comment. But I haven't been using this that often, to be quite honest. I've been testing out a lot of different foundations. I've been doing a couple of reviews. I just did one on the ColourPop foundation and I have my video coming up for the Makeup Revolution foundation. So I haven't really been focusing on this as much, but every day now until the finale, I will be using this along with my last product, which is my primer. Again, I actually have been neglecting this primer. This is the Burberry Fresh Glow Nude Radiance Luminous Fluid Base. And I recently picked up a primer that I've been loving and using a lot, and that's the Tatcha primer. So I forced myself to put that away. It's in my collection now, and I'm gonna be focusing on just this primer again until the finale. I honestly didn't have much progress between my last update and this one, so I'm probably right around the same part of the bottle. So those are all of my updates for this project pan. The finale will be posted December 21st. I believe that is a Friday, the day before my birthday. And I'm really excited because I didn't expect to use up this many of the products before the finale. So really gonna focus on the foundation, the primer, and that bronzer until the finale. Don't forget to check out Angela's Instagram, which I will have linked down below. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.